start a new drawing, move your cursor to the upper left corner of the screen or the window. Click this icon and select Akadisu 3D for metric units and click open. I'm going to open both windows, so go to view and select tile vertically. Click this window to move to the other side and click tile vertically again. Just going to adjust the screen. Maybe make this one smaller and this one bigger. And work on parallel projection by clicking this drop down arrow, click parallel. And make sure, go down to the status bar and make sure your dynamic input is on. Polar tracking, object snap tracking, object snap, and maybe selection cycling. I'm gonna start working from front view. So I'm gonna draw this one here. So go to custom view and select front view and type C for circle command, right click to enter, click anywhere on the screen, then type D for diameter option and enter 64, which is this one here. Right click to repeat circle, locate center, D again for diameter option and enter 55. Same process, D, and then enter 43, and the next circle is, the diameter is 34. I'm going to draw a guide from the center of these circles and the center of this circle, which is 75, so I'm just going to draw a line as a guide. So type L for line command. Look at center, travel your cursor upward for 75 units. Type C again for circle, right click to enter, click this in point, type D for diameter option and enter 38. Another circle. Click the center and enter D for diameter option and enter 20. Now I'm going to draw this curve here by using, so go to home and inside the draw panel, click this drop down arrow and select tangent, tangent, radius options. And then hover over the side anywhere here and you can see that um, tangent option. Click and this one here, click and go down to the status bar and enter 75 units as shown here. Now to trim, type TR for trim command, just enter twice and remove this one. Now mirror this arc. So type MI for mirror command, enter, select this one, and specify first point of mirror line. So I'm just going to use this in point to in point and select no. I'm just going to erase this guide and now I'm going to create this, this one here that connects these two objects here. So just this portion. So what I'm going to do is um, trim, use trim command, enter twice and click this one and remove this one. I'm going to join the segment. So type J for join command. So click this one. This object and this object and this object. Now this is one object. I'm going to redraw the circle. So type C for circle command. Look at center and click that in point. Same process. Circle. Center and click that in point. Now the thickness for this uh, curve here is 10. So what I'm going to do is... Okay, press the shift key and the wheel of your mouse to move this around and maybe turn off the grid. It bothers me. So I'm just going to extrude this one halfway to that direction for five units. And then use press pull command. Hover over the face. Left click. 
and pull this out for five units. I did that so I could center these circles. And now the thickness for this one is 30. So what I'm going to do is extrude this one halfway for 15. And then use press pull command, hover over this face and pull this out or pull this in for 15 units. Now to poke a hole through the objects, I'm going to use press pull command again, hover over this face, left click, let go of your finger, move this one towards the direction, left click again to poke a hole. Now extrude this one, and the total thickness for this is from here to here is 30. So what I'm going to do is uh, extrude this one halfway to that direction for 15 and then use press pull command for 15 units so hover over this area here and use uh, an extrude for 15 units and um, for this for the second layer this one here is 30 minus 5 is 25 but since we're starting from the middle, so it's going to be 10. So press pull command, hover over this. Press pull command, hover over this portion here. And pull it out for 10 units. While at it, you can just still use the press pull command is still active. Hover over this portion and pull it out for 30 since the distance from the middle is 30 from here to here as shown so in third 30 and then still while at it press pull is still active just hover over this um face here left click let go pull it out left click again now we're done i'm just gonna apply materials so type materials I'm going to All right. What I'm going to do is minimize this one. Maximize the screen. I'm going to use metallic paint and then use red, maybe gold. Uh olive green. All right. So what I'm going to do is use this one. I'm going to click this. Uh, first, I'm going to combine all the objects. So go to solid and select union command. Click the whole thing. Okay, for red, I'm going to do that. Now I'm going to color the inside here. So I'm going to use olive green. So what I'm going to do is click this one, pull it out. And press the control key at the same time. I'm just going to color this face. And then for gold. I'm going to color this face here. So pull it out. Press control key and color that face. For the inside, I'm going to use maybe silver. Click this one. A silver control and click this face there you go I'm gonna make this lighter so go to uh, visualize and click um, the lights and just adjust the exposure setting I'm just going to move this one and erase the guides. Now we're done. Thanks for watching and please click the subscribe button and the bell icon for notification for the next tutorial. Bye bye.